Ha ha! The unreliable. I have returned. And this time, I've got a vengeance. Alright, now. Back, Captain. Oh, that's a little loud. Of assistance? Okay. Now. You wanted me to watch a drama with you? Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. Ah. Versus the Brain Eaters, Chapter 12, starring Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon Helen. It was the law forsaken parasites. Hmm. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. Mm. To avenge my partner, Philip. Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. Bernie. Oh, ew. And Lieutenant yeah, kill it. And those two informants had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. Oh no. It was death. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? What cost? Wow, if this is what all the Aether Wave drama looks like. Aether Wave? Aether Wave? I forgot. Either way, I'd watch this. Very cinematic. It's you. This is the Halcyon News Network with breaking news. Halcyon Helen has been murdered. Administrator Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. She died? Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Ludovico? Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But okay. no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. How about I just call you Lou? How about not? Hmm. I don't like your attitude. Ah, I apologize if I've struck too familiar a tone for your tastes. Let me get right to the point. Halcyon Helen is dead. <gasps> Murdered. A gasp. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. Oh no. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before Ew. this tragic event. Spectrum but we Brown. Move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. Hmm. And your first thought was to come to me. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, Sublight's favorite freelancer. I'm such an admirer of your work. Oh, really? Cedric King Cannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third party investigator. Always nice to have a no fan. wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. Uh huh. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible. And drag them out of the shadows. Mmm. Mmm. Um. How is this an assault on the colony just for killing an actress? Stupid actor. Oh, Captain. This isn't Spencer Woolridge we're talking about. This is Halcyon Helen. 
princess of periodicals, duchess of dramaturgy. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't she realize. Did not believe the money she made us on dissident busters. For law's sake, Cedric, could you show a little discretion and not bring up your contraband operations in front of an outsider? Ludovico, you wound me. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. Do you two need a room? Oh, let me go. We can do this anytime you want. I'll even make an appointment. I'm sure your schedule's wide open. What with your product launch being indefinitely delayed due to unforeseen murder. All right, Cedric. If that's how you want to behave, I have no choice. But <gasps> I'll file an official reprimand on your permanent record. Oh, please do. I'd love an official reprimand from a failed executive. Could you do me a favor and have it laminated? Oh my, this Could guy gives no shit. Please stop this nonsense. Who the hell are you? Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keane. Oh. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. A constable. I've been studying your dossier. You're reliable and competent. You've been taking care of yourself ever since you arrived on Halcyon. And you're entirely independent. Entirely. As far as I'm concerned, I'm a strong, independent woman. Case. But I'm a man. Spectre Night Smoke. I like the sound of that. I'm pleased to hear that. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. Bud Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Excuse Ludovico me? and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Oh, yeah, because no one buys Rizzo Spectrum vodka anymore. You could have dealt with this, aren't you, the constable? I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the administrator is politics. Politics are not my area of expertise. Well, they're not mine. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. Uh, well, there's nothing I I'm can't handle. I'm pleased to hear that. From everything I've heard, you're a competent freelancer. <coughs> and at the risk of sounding impertinent, we desperately need the help of someone competent. Thank you for your time, Captain. Sure. Whenever you're ready, I've authorized the unreliable to land at the Grand Colonial. All right. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. What can you tell me about that place? Eridanos is a hydrogen helium gas giant. Uh -huh. Distinguished by a well-defined ring system. Okay. The Eridanos Atmospheric Complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere, where humans are potentially capable of surviving. Oh. It is possible they expect you to understand the mind of a killer. You were, after all, responsible for murdering civilians in Emerald Vale. Okay. Alright. Okay, Ada. Ada, okay. Okay, Ada. Ada, okay. Murdering civilians in Emerald Vale? Who? I don't think I've murdered any civilian. You have no proof of that, Ada. You've been on the ship the whole time. So, you don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh wait, no, I need to get I need to get there first. I'm still a groundbreaker. Where am I going? Not back to Phineas's lab, I'll tell you that. Oh, there's still two places I need to visit. Hephaestus. And Typhon.
and Tartarus. Can I not go here? It just looks like Saturn. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> okay. All right, who comes with me? Parvati and Neoka. Parvati and Neoka. Okay. Rizzo Spectrum Brown. If it's brown, drink it down! Spectrum Brown. Ew, what the hell is that inside of the Spectrum Brown? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Well, I got dream catcher vibes. That Stephen King movie. Do 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 Oh, this is cinematic. They don't do this for all the planets. And that engine looked like it was about to go. You guys ready? You ready? Let's go. Oh, wow. This is a job? Feels more like a vacation. Yeah, well... Hello, hello, hello there. Hope your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight um, salvage and shipping underground, or slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. Okay. <clears throat> What are the details of the murder? I can try. I was the one who found Helen's body in the Grand Ballroom. Mm. Corpse wasn't in the best shape. Aside from that, I don't know a whole lot. Helen was supposed to host the unveiling for Rizzo's newest product, Spectrum Brown. Until you catch the killer, the unveiling's been indefinitely postponed. Mm -hmm. Helen's death has been a shock for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Hell. Even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's <gasps> has wandered off. Black Some Hole Birdie? he had something to do with the murder, but I don't believe it. He did it. It's always the boyfriend. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could happen. I mean... Was she a divisive figure? Not particularly. But I think some folks were jealous of her success, or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. Hmm. How'd she get so famous? Why, she was a natural. People fell in love with her. She managed to wrangle up a following all on her own. She ended up about as famous and high-rungd as your average VP, which rubbed a lot of Byzantines the wrong way. Actors ain't supposed to get preferential treatment. Let's see here. Oh, I already spoke briefly about the Spectrum unveiling, or lack thereof. It's uh -huh. an awful shame. A lot of folks looking forward to that. Wait, do you work for Slug or Rizzo's? I do. Rizzo's happened to rent out the Grand Colonial Ballroom from Slug for the unveiling. 
a nice mutually beneficial event. Oh. But the murder's gone and ruined that. Along with nine out of ten of my favorite cereals. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. What bags? Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage, belongings, kit, wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. You're still giving me a pretty blank look. Suppose it's none of my business, but do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? Kinda, sometimes. that but I still ain't seen no bags you know what never mind it's not my business anyhow I'll was that lie unsuccessful later hope you can unravel this mystery inspector hmm okay let's go Other than the ring, the sky looks pretty shitty. Greetings, Inspector. No need to check in here. Your paperwork has all been processed. You should be able to find the Colonial right ahead. All right. I've been starting to play a little game as we travel. You might be a top runger if... Your hotel is taller than the highest mountain on Monarch. Wow. It's a big building. The Grand Colonial. We'll check that place out later, I suppose. Oh yeah, this music. That's nice. Oh yeah. Play that xylophone. All right, back to business. Ooh, feels like I'm breathing rich people air. We are breathing rich people I'll air. You know how much this air costs? Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, but you don't seem to have a registered room key. If you've lost your key, why don't you pay the hotel concierge a visit? I'm sure she can get you a new one. Then you can come back, and I'll service all of your vertical needs. Mm, all my vertical needs. I think I've missed something here. Is there a back room? Ah. Black hole birdies disappeared, you know. That poor fellow must be inconsolable. Or he did it. It just makes him more of a suspect. I'm here. Oh, thank the law. Inspector, you don't know how relieved I am to see you. Constable Keen, nice to meet you. We spoke over the Aether Wave. Constable Maria Keen. It's good to meet you in person, Inspector. 
Dr. Goodnight. Ecstatic to make your various acquaintances and so on. Our your last name is Goodnight? There's something I'm excited to show you. That's a pretty damn cool last name. Dr. Goodnight. Hi, I'm Philip Goodnight. Hi, I'm Tom Goodnight. Oh, that's a nice... It's a good name. I'm sorry, what What do you got for me? An extraordinary contraption. You'll love it. Our coroner has developed a device which may prove useful in your investigation. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Oh, please. You make it sound as if I'm turning over stolen goods. Behold, my discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. Feel the way it hums with ontological potential. Looks like a scope modified with the computing device. I work with the materials to which I have access. Halcyon has no shortage of rifles. The discrepancy amplifier uses a deterministic model of our universe to detect the discrepancy between what should be and what actually is. Okay, Then it what? renders any discrepancies visible by using the power of magnification. Okay. Go on then. Give it a try. Just treat the amplifier as you would a weapon. Mm -hmm. Hold it good and steady and look down scope. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but I'll bend that rule just this once. You'll want to peer into the amplifier and examine the crime scene. Oh. Um, that means I'd have to get rid of one of these weapons, and I don't want to do that. Wait. Okay. All right, scanning air dons for evidence. The amplifier is now operational. Greetings, designated inspector and or unauthorized arsonist. This oh. unit has detected a discrepancy related to Halcyon Helen. Unscheduled expiration of. Begin amplification. Ah, I so see you've designed with a mod modular analytical system. You speak when you're spoken Please to. Please do not talk the discrepancy amplifier. Oh, you'll love this. Amplifier, tell the inspector about your features. Please do not interrupt the discrepancy amplifier. The discrepancy amplifier is programmed to take instruction from its registered or designated inspector. How curious. I must have set its impertinence levels to flagrant. This what? unit's features include an automated personality simulator. This unit has been programmed to simulate joy and satisfaction in assisting you. Okay. Now about the case. This is a bottle of unreleased Rizzo's product. Helen appears to have attempted to use it to spell something as she expired, but all she managed was a sticky bee. Was she trying to spell the name of her killer? This hypothesis is plausible, but requires additional information. Make a note of it for later, Amplifier. This evidence has been recorded for later reference. 
Now generating pre-approved compliment. Splendid work, Inspector. Don't patronize me. This uses ammo? Prototype light pistol. Hmm. Huh, well, how about that? Okay. This footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the grand ballroom. Typically, the ballroom is cleaned twice daily, which means this must have been made by either Helen or her assailant or assailants. Do they match anything you have on record? Footprint is a tailor made, 8.75. Suggesting that its owner was very particular about their shoe size. It is also the exact size that Halcyon Helen typically prefers. There are traces of dirt throughout the footprint. Seeing some purple bear in this dirt. Analysis? Excellent observation, Inspector. The following compounds have been detected. Purple berry residue, uh -huh. nitrogen-rich fertilizer, common uh -huh. grass. Grass, mm. fertilizer, and purple berries can all be found in the purple berry orchards located not far from the Grand Colonial. Okay, so we'll have our first. This deduction appears sound. Good work, Inspector. First lead. I had a feeling we'd make some progress once we brought you onto the case. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant you access to the orchards. Contact him through the secure access terminal in your penthouse suite. Check in with the concierge. Your room should be ready by now. If it isn't, I may have to go shake someone by the collar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. I'm going to take some of the Spectrum Brown. I hope you don't mind. Samples will be billed to your room. Then they're not samples. Oh. Yeah, let me look her. You're not going to need these bits. Oh, for, don't mind us, folks. Normal inspectors doing normal inspector things. Yeah. Those bits are... Evidence. And nothing oh, I else. I should have gotten her autograph when I had the chance. Ah, well. Staring at her won't bring her back, folks. Hello. I'm sorry, sir, but while the hotel is an active crime scene, I regret to inform you that all new bookings, room upgrades, room downgrades, and in-room massages are suspect. Oh, you're the special inspector. Mr. Kincannon warned me you'd be checking in soon. Yeah. I love your eyes. Yeah, so my room. Ah, yes. We are most pleased to offer you our grandest of grand accommodations, Inspector. The penthouse suite on our topmost floor is now available for you. The last guest left her belongings behind when she vacated unexpectedly, so we needed a little time to tidy the suite up for you. Simply call the elevator in the lobby, and our highly skilled operator will deliver you to your private floor with efficiency and cheer. Alright. We can talk about the high-profile guests here. My apologies, Inspector, but that would be a severe violation of guest privacy. We here at the Grand Colonial firmly believe that... Alright, my supervisor just walked out of earshot. Some folks just don't uh -huh. understand the importance of gossip. Gossip's About important. Whom? And what would you wish to know? Up, up, um, black hole birdie. Ah, birdie. Is he bigger than he is dumb, or dumber than he is big? I have a bet with a friend. Not sure we'll ever get it to pay out. Birdie used to be Helen's beau. 
though he isn't anymore and not just because she's dead. If I had a million bits, I'd spend everyone just to learn what caused their split. So they broke up, huh? You know anything about Halcyon Helen before she died? You know, out of everyone here, I probably knew the least about Helen. I'm not much of an Aetherwave watcher myself. And I see. Helen always had a crowd of admirers chasing her, you see? So she rarely stopped to chat. Friendly enough, surely, but always seemed untouchable. Emphasis on seemed. Yeah, I mean, she's dead now. Do you ever see her be close with any of the other guests? Everyone wanted to be around Helen. She could usually be seen alongside Bertie or Woolrich, for obvious reasons. Obviously. Uh, what about Woolrich? Would he have any reason to want her dead? If looks could kill, he'd have put her in the ground ten times over. Man's clearly jealous of her success compared to his. Mm. See, I'd bet we're the only two people thinking about him in all of Eridanos. And I only am because you mentioned his name. If you no, no, you mentioned his name. Out, it turns to curds. Leave the curds out, they begin to get stale, then rot. Woolridge is on his way to the trash bin, and everyone knows it. Either he's in denial, or he knew Helen would be checking out soon, judging by his increasing demands for a room upgrade. Alright, that's enough gossip for now. That's a shame, Inspector. What if I wanted to know a little about you? Me? Why... I'm a freelance captain, changing the colony one high-stakes encounter at a time. A dashing gunslinger type, then. Oh, yeah. I'm sure the investigation will turn out splendidly in your hands. Or at least, Mr. Kincannon seems confident enough to believe so. The Grand Colonial sure is interesting. It certainly is a marvel of modern ingenuity, luxury, and ambition. Oh, definitely. Please, allow me to answer any curiosities you might have about our building and the amenities on offer. Alright. Okay. Uh... Not really anything I want to know about the hotel. Goodbye. What floor would you like to visit? I like to visit the VIP guest floor. Oh, so sorry, but you're not actually authorized to visit that floor. What? What authorized floor can I bring you to? Fine. Take me to the Excellent. penthouse. The finest seat in the house. All right, Halcyon Helen has been dead. I mean, killed. Huh? Has been dead. She's been dead for a while now. Okay, we're here. Hey, you're here. Is everybody here? You think they'll let us expense the booth? I call the big bed. Anyone wants to challenge me, we can play a hand of cards. I do love all the wall space. So much room for trophies. Yeah, if only this is actually our place. Uh, even the air in here feels too sweet. Almost sticky. Huh. Interesting. Whose room was this? When it comes to on-the-go cleanliness, Sam units murder the competition. Of course you do. First mate. I think it's strange that I kind of miss Ada. Everything's so soft and silky and expensive. Oh gosh, I hope I don't get any grease stains on the furniture. Oh, don't worry about it. They can fix that.
Hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. It's hotel regulations, law and lawful storage, early escape. No problem. Okay. Okay. So I stuck clean papers. Never got started. Hmm. This room ain't so bad. I could get used to this. Is this how people in Byzantium live all the time? I guess. I mean, they're the ones with all the money. Vicar? The opulence of this place is stifling. Cereals are used by the board to control what the colonists think about reality. Quite a powerful thing. Yeah, if they portray it as reality. Oh my. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Kind of makes him look very suspicious. The imprint left inside this suitcase matches the silhouette of Halcyon Helen's iconic handgun, the Needler. Ah. The weapon was recently removed. Okay. Tree of privilege. Ooh. Looks like uh, the profit of profitability. Might have motive to kill her. Hmm. Damn. 
Okay. Okay. Inspector, I understand you've visited the scene of the crime. I have. Halcyon Helen was an important cultural icon. She, she was. Be sorely missed. Sure. You know, I'm usually the one causing murders, not solving them, right? I will be plain with you. I'd prefer not having to hire you at all. Oh, this matter well. should be resolved by Rizzo's security. But Cedric owns the land complexes, so we have a jurisdiction problem. Constable Keene encouraged us to hire a third-party freelancer. Right now, you're the best chance we have at resolving this incident and getting on with our affairs. Oh, I see. Uh... But don't worry. I've been solving problems for two idiots who don't get along since the Emerald Vale. I see. Well, I appreciate your candor. Yes, let's go with that. Yeah, well, Back you know, you're straight with me. I'll be Tell straight me with about you. your investigation. My what? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I've got a lead. I've got to go to the orchards. Your discretion is appreciated. I admit, I'm beginning to feel more confident in this arrangement. Here, I'm granting you access through the gates to the orchards. You're officially authorized to see this investigation through to the end. There is one caveat. Cedric's being rather intransigent about letting you into the spaceport. Possibly he's trying to hide something. Possibly he wants to annoy me. Possibly both. I see. I have received a text saying my boss would like me to come in a few hours early. I'm going to ignore that text and open it in about an hour or so because I don't want to go to work at this time. Um... What are you saying? Caveat said just being rather intransigent. Let me interpose. I had something. Possibly both. But I'll bear you that have in a mind. Lead to chase. Law speed, Inspector. I'll be back. Well. On my job description to ask, but at my heart I'm still a bellhop. Was the sweet to your liking? Um It's a great room. Good. I'm glad. Now I'd love to bring you to a floor of your choosing. I need to exit. Exit the Grand Colonial, and this time, who do I take? Uh, where are all of your silly helmets? Uh, it still stick to you guys. Why are they called brain eaters and yet they have giant brains on their heads? Wouldn't they like cannibalize each other? Or is it just certain brains that they eat? Huh. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter.
Ah. Where am I going? That way. Ooh. It's quite a distance, but we can...